we're talking about the ZNCF and this video is really specifically just talking about one thing and that is image quality. This isn't about the really nice lightweight lens body and the very compact lens and it's not about the fact that the text is glow in the dark. This is really about it's like what do they look like when you shoot things. There's three or four tests I do on every set of lenses I can get my hands on. If I'm thinking about shooting a project on a set of lenses, I'm gonna do these tests. These are sort of the basics that tell me a lot about like the personality of a lens. So the first thing we're gonna be looking at is we're gonna be looking at skin tone. Different camera sensors reproduce color differently. We're looking at an Arri Alexa. We're gonna be shooting Blackmagic Ursa. We're also gonna be shooting Fuji X-H1, which everybody knows I'm very partial to the color in that camera because I wanted to take sensor out of it. And so we're gonna be able to look at these three different sensors, all with the same zine lens. And so we're really gonna see how that zine lens reproduces skin color. And we're gonna really see how that zine lens, the zine CF, reproduces texture. And texture is something we're really thinking about a lot when we think about lenses, because obviously there's lenses that are very soft and creamy, there's lenses that are very sharp, there's lenses that are very clear. So you're always making a choice with your lenses about what you want them to look like, and flattering skin tones is a big priority for most filmmakers. A couple other aspects of these lenses. One of the big ones for me is bokeh. So looking at these lenses, looking at bokeh can tell you a lot about all sorts of aspects of a lens. For instance, chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration is when you've got something in frame and it gets that like color fringing around it. You'll see purple fringing a lot. You'll see green and sort of magenta fringing a lot. That's chromatic aberration, something we want to avoid. It calls attention to itself. It can be very ugly and distracting. And bokeh is a great place to see it. As you can see right here, as we rack in and out of focus on these Christmas lights, you can really see the way in which they don't have tremendous aberration. They really smoothly go in and out of the Christmas lights without this aberrating pop. I'm not gonna tell you what lens this is, but if you watch this lens go in and out of focus right now, you can see that little pop as it goes through a real bad chromatic aberration step. Not a lens that we shoot very often, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you're frustrated by a lens that has real chromatic aberration problems. Then the last thing we're gonna look at is lens flares. Lens flares tell you a lot about a lens. They can tell you a lot about the personality. In my opinion, these guys have a very controlled lens flare. Now, lens flares are obviously popular. They're popular in the 60s. J.J. Abrams really liked them in the Star Trek movies. They are a thing that have trends. You can go out and deliberately get lenses without reflective coatings on them in order to get more flares and different flares. For me, I tend to like a lens with very minimal flare because unless I'm doing it deliberately, unless it's tied into a specific sci-fi story, for a lot of the projects I work on, I'm looking for lenses that help me connect to the character, that help me feel like I'm part of the scene. I'm looking for a clarity, and a lot of times too heavy a lens flare can be a little distracting. And I really liked how controlled the lens flares felt in the CF line and how minimal I felt like the lens flares got in the way of seeing these really nice images. So, those are the tests I'm really looking at when I'm evaluating the image quality of a lens. Overall, this has been Charles Hand, really having a lot of fun testing these Zine CF lenses and, and uh, putting them through the pieces that I normally would any new lens set, getting ready to shoot a production with them. Thank you very much.